Hi, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some 3D printed isopod feeding dishes and other items sent to me by James from Challenge the Wild. James has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. Both relate to keeping a variety of creatures. During a live stream a few months ago, I was chatting with a patron, Lacey J, about various ways to serve food to isopods. Lacey mentioned that she had purchased some feeding dishes from Challenge the Wild and described some of the benefits of using them, and she was kind enough to send me a few to try out. I tried them, and I was immediately sold. So, thank you to Lacey J for sending me those. I reached out to James at Challenge the Wild, and he offered to send me some more, along with some of his other products. I was excited to share an unboxing video with you, but unfortunately the audio had severe issues. On the bright side, the video worked, so I can still show you the products that James sent. First, this is a moss dome. You can use this in an aquarium to anchor aquatic moss, and then it doubles as a hide for shrimp or other small aquatic creatures. He also sent this nano food dish for geckos. I always have lots of juvenile morning geckos about, so I can put this to good use, or I could use it for my young centipedes as well, and I'm sure it could be used in a wide variety of ways. He also included these gravestone decorations. These could be a fun Halloween-esque addition to any enclosure with a predatory arthropod in it, maybe one of my scorpion enclosures, for example. Before we take a look at the food dishes that James sent, I want to give a shout out to my patrons on Patreon. I really appreciate the support that you offer the channel. It helps the channel grow and provide information about some of the marvelous creatures with which we share the planet. I also really appreciate the additional dimension of communication that is possible through Patreon. If you'd like to help support Aquarium X Pets on Patreon for as little as one US dollar per month, and you'd like to see what Patreon has to offer, please click the link at the end of this video or in the description. And now, last but not least, the food dishes. As you can see, they come in two sizes and a wide variety of colors. I've been using these specific food dishes with my isopods for a while now, and I really like how these are designed. The troughs can hold quite a bit of food, and they're designed with ramps, complete with tiny stairs so that both minuscule and larger isopods can enter and exit the food dish easily. Soon, I'll be making a video talking about feeding platforms for isopods. I'll be focusing not only on the benefits of feeding platforms, but also on various options that you can choose from, from simple DIY solutions to items like this that are carefully designed with isopods in mind. If you'd like to see a video like that, please let me know in the comments. Thank you again to Lacey J and to James from Challenge the Wild for these food dishes, and thank you for watching. I post videos every Friday with Wednesday live streams with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for notifications all so you don't miss my next video.